What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another, uh, what's the format called? Call time? Kaladesh? Strixhaven? What do we got here? Shale Dean of Radiance is a 1 1 for 2 with flying and vigilance, but a 1 encounter on each creature in a battlefield. That's pretty good. 4 mana, 4 4. Put a counter on another creature, and then it deals 2 damage to that creature. Whenever a creature you control with a 1 encounter dies, draw a card. Another target creature. This actually seems really freaking good. I got a shock here. Like, okay, so if they have... Okay, it kills 1-1s one on the spot, but your 2-2s two survive and become 3-3s. Three yeah, that's pretty good. All right, we're going to take that thing. We got here, Verdant Mastery. It's mm, not great. I do like an expel. Mm -hmm. two, two, for, uh, two two for flyer for five, but it returns a three drop to your hand. This card's really good. This card's really good. This card's really good. I'm gonna go with the expel though because I wanna keep the uh, something quill. Silver Quill. Is that right? Did I nail it? Oh, we get a Humiliate. Village Rights. Illuminate History. Yeah, all right. You said Ord's all wrong. How dare you? How dare you come up into my chat and insult my pronunciation? This is interesting because I like Humiliate, I like Pilgrim, and I like uh, Spiteful Squad. This does combo well with uh, em Embros. I think we're going to Embros more than we're going to Shale. <clears throat> for when you get cold, for a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take the. I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Garbage Andy and take the Humiliate here. Pilgrim's good too. I will take a pilgrim if I see one. I mean, obviously I just passed one, but that's not that's not the point. I got a root canal. Oh, good good lord. I've had one root canal, I think. Actually two, because the one I had had to get redone. So two root canals on the same tooth. John Wayne would never. I want to see you crush with a black white deck, though. So do I. That's why I'm taking the black white cards. God. Two counters on a creature control. Other creatures get plus one, plus one. This is a decent pump effect. Um, we're going to take Leech Fanatic, though. I think two twos with Lifelink are pretty relevant for this archetype. I should be going back to bed, but on the other hand, drafting. Well, I agree with you. Don't let me stop you. Or alternatively, let me stop you. Have you won your game? <laughs> no, Dad, I'm still I'm still playing. It's really stuffy in here. I feel like I want to just open the window a crack. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 31 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, 31 degrees. And then I'm like, eh, maybe I don't want to. Maybe I'm not that cold or warm. I'm probably still going to crack it just a little bit because it's going to be a nice... A nice, crisp, refreshing... Expanded Anatomy seems good for us. I'll take the Anatomy. Well, nope. Eh, puts a 1-1 one -one counter on a creature. I wish this guy was white. That'd be cool. It's fun. I'm not, I'm not going to go three colors this time. I'm just not going to do it. 
I refuse to let you go. Oh, I got a D-Spark? Oh, that's a pretty sweet one. We're definitely taking D-Spark. Mage Hunter's Onslaught's good, but I think D-Spark's probably better for two mana. Maybe? <laughs> um, You're probably going to very likely have a counter on you. You're not going to do what I want you to do. Yeah, I'll take Promising Dusk Mage, which I usually wouldn't. But we're going deep. We got counters, counters. That's it so far. But we're working on it. Things are happening. <laughs> oh, this guy's just fine. 2 3 flyer for four that's a mana sink in the late game. It's not terrible. This guy came back. I'm just going to take this. In case we really have to pivot and become a blue red deck, I think it's, you know, it's good to have. It's nice. Hold on a second. I'm going to open this window. I'll open this window after this pack. Oh, Spiteful Squad came back. All right, that's a good sign. You can pivot entirely in pack two at this set, and that's a good that's a good idea. Is it? Is it though? Cast him as a man. We're gonna take this guy. <sighs> sure, I'll take the one two flyer. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Boy, they're really making me choose here. Hold on, let me open this window. Yeah. Okay, that's better. It's gonna blow my nose. I'm gonna do that too, and you guys can let me know what to, what to take. Come back? Is he gonna come back in time? Nobody knows. I think it's Silver Quill. No, that seems worse. It's gotta be Day of Judgment, right? Yeah, it's Day. Top player discards two cards in exile, all of their graveyard. Goodbye, graveyard. Oh, Rise of Extus is nice. I was going to take the other Leech Fanatic, but I think I, I, I like this card a lot. It's really strong. <sighs> Exiling creatures is good. Sometimes you just don't want to deal with them, you know? Go blank. Oh yeah, the, the, I think it's, isn't it the same artist as the Rise of Extas art? I think they're both by Wiley Beckert. Because this art's also great. Four mana for a 3-3. Three, three. So there's never required to put it in the graveyard and the shelf of Dennis or Sorcery, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Okay. Um, I guess I don't get this. Like, I just, I mean, especially in Limited, right? Like, I mean, okay, cool. I tap this guy to put a 1-1 one, one counter on him. 
Or I can put a creature in my graveyard. I don't know. It just doesn't really... That don't impress me much. I think I'd rather just have cram session to uh, to learn another lesson. Also, it triggers the... I guess there's not a ton of life cards. I guess that's more of a... Uh, wither bloom. I don't know. Maybe it's fine. It's not great, right? I don't know. I don't think it's good. Oh, boy. That card. See, that's good. With I, I don't want to take Spirit Summoning because I just don't think it's very good. I think I'd rather just take Mortality Spear and see if I can splash it because it's pretty decent. And Environmental Sciences is a good way to do so. Also another Rise. I'm going to take the Sciences because I think I'd rather just have it. Plus we have like Day of Judgment, uh, D-Spark, <coughs> Expel. We have a good amount of removal so far. Here's another Expel. Show of Confidence. When you cast this copy for each other, instant or sorcery. Yeah, okay. Is this good? I don't know how good this is. <laughs> Third color incoming. Uh, he's not wrong. I think it's probably just Inkling summoning. I think I'd rather have a n multiple uh, multiple lessons here. <clears throat> I think defend the campus is fine. Introduction to Annihilation. Also, Letter of Acceptance is pretty decent. I kind of like this. It's good in the early game if you want to just ramp or fix. And then in the late game, you get to just trade it in. Mage Hunter's Onslaught. Okay. Well, our removal is very, very good so far. I definitely don't need a 20th Duress, unfortunately. At least you can disenchant it for wild cards. Wow. Wow. Multiple of my favorite MTG Arena problems. Oh, Go Blank came back. Chris Furter's favorite card. Still probably going to take it. <clears throat> it's not exciting, but nothing in that pack was, so... What about a 21st? No, no amount of no amount of additional duresses are necessary. Lore hold pledge mage ain't bad. Buddy, I don't even know what that is. I actually don't know all the cards by name yet, so it's uh you know, it's a little rough. I agree that the Urza Saga Duress is best Duress. <sighs> Deadly Brew. All right, one more pack. We got to get some creatures here. Oh, is that guy a creature? Oh, that guy's good. That guy's a sweetie boy. Yeah, we're going to take this guy. Oh, I like an Electrolyze. Stone Binders from like one one for one. Whenever one or more cards are put into exile during your turn, put a one one counter on it. Huh. Doggy. Uh huh. Okay, Witherbloom Pledge Mage is actually like this card. Actually, is just fine. Like just five fives for five. That 
you know, that's good. I think I think we can probably get another Rise of Exodus, I'll be honest with you. Nope, nope. This guy's actually okay. <clears throat> another another fat daddy another exhilarating elocution oh this was the pledge mage you were speaking of yes 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 two two first strike is probably just fine what's our curve look like we don't actually have a ton of expensive stuff so i'm just going to take the expensive five five again especially because we have letter of acceptance which does conveniently ramp us into that guy I really love, I, I wish cards like this were like not activated as a sorcery. It's kind of, it's kind of obnoxious. Our four drop slots looking pretty heavy. I actually don't like main decking Day of Judgment because sometimes it just clogs up your hand. I know that sounds silly, but I'm going to take another promising Dusk Mage, I think. No, we're going to have another Spiteful Squad. <clears throat> I think Guiding Voice is probably fine. Ooh, Silver Quill Apprentice this late? I really shit, I shit on this guy in one of my first, very first drafts. But I think what I didn't realize was that it says target creature gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. And uh, I think it's a lot better now. Now that I know what it does. Mm, it's still a lesson, sure. What the hell? To do an hexproof. Pest summoning. I actually like having a pest summoning in the sideboard. <coughs> I feel like we have a good amount of uh of lessons here. Mm, sure. Take this, lots of splash. Um, sure. Actually, we need a three drop. How's our three drops looking? We could probably use one more creature three drop. <clears throat> I don't think we're gonna need to splash here. I don't know if this deck is any good. I literally have no idea when decks are good or not in this format yet. 13 creatures, it's a little low. How many lessons do we get though? Uh, oh, that's nice. That's our second one though. I think we have exactly 23 here. <laughs> that's okay. Um, so reasonable one, two, three, four, five. Seems good. Make sure everything in here is relatively playable. Yeah, I think this is good. <coughs> Thank you. Oh my god, Neon Tokyo Rain with the 10 gifted subs. Buddy, what in the earth, man? Oh, what up, Mike? Good seeing you, dude. Thank you.
Thank you. <laughs> um, you know what? I'll keep it. We have two playables. Thank Did not you. fix my lands. Dude, Neon Tokyo, thank you for the support, buddy. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Okay, that's expensive. Love you, buddy. Thank you. Are you healing from your root canal? Thank you. I don't know which mode I want to use. I might just want to draw a card here. Thank you. Did I hear you're buying a house? No, we were renting Thank a house. You. Everybody thought I was buying, and I'm like, no, it's just a rental house we're getting. Like, we don't know where we're going to end up, so it's just a rental. Thank you. But if you guys congratulated us, thank you so much. Still pretty sweet. Ooh, that would be... That will be good next turn when we make this a 3-4 and also strip a card from their hand. <clears throat> oh, no blocks. I hope they don't ninjutsu or something. Okay. We got our, that guy's good. I don't care about that. I don't, Quandrix's command. Okay, so they're just playing like f three colors. So uncommon, draw two, rare, rare. Okay. All right. Let's get dangerous. <clears throat> thank you oh Mike thank you for the resub buddy welcome back my dude always appreciate it man sure isn't that just worse than pop quiz no I guess not I guess if you're looking for something I don't know what you could be looking for <laughs> okay, so they're just not doing anything this turn, which is totally fine. <clears throat> yep, that one's good. Okay, so we can rise, and then next turn we can play both of these. Hmm. We get to draw a card at least. Which one do I care about more? Probably the three five. And I get to learn. Dang. So smart. Eh, no attacks. Still can't. Well, congrats on the new and YouTube at the what? Hold on. Where is the new place? No, definitely not Florida. It's just literally in Colorado. Like uh, an hour north of us right now. <clears throat> Gonna move to Seattle and live in my basement. <laughs> Man, I actually would have loved to if Seattle was an option. That would have been great. Well, we get to draw a card anyway, so joke's on you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh good times Mike I love you dude <laughs> let's play this guy and next time we have eight so we can play both of these so we're really just uh, maximizing our <coughs> Mortal Kombat's a franchise that like in terms of 
in terms of like media, I feel like I've been hurt too much by it. Like, oh, TV shows and movies and stuff. So I'm just like, eh. Sure. It's only seven mana. It's just like literally a seven mana prophetic burst, right? I mean, this is one of the weird things. Like, I feel like if you're not playing red blue, like your card advantage is really just not as good. Wow, they just literally played two exact things that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's trade. Hell of a dude. Welcome back, man. Thank you for the reset, buddy. What a hell of a dude. Oh, we got a planes now. We got a second white source. That's good for your four color deck. This format seems really easy to play multiple colors. Almost too easy. Search your library for basically put on top. Like, I just don't think this card's very good unless you just need a body. I also don't think the mana we have currently is. Okay. Well, I don't actually know how I win this game now because they have three cards and a better board. And they just, another rare, because mono rares dot deck. Yep, another rare. <sighs> Seems good. They just take nine here, right? I guess we can go get something with Guiding Voices and then tap it down. I don't know. <laughs> this is a sorcery. That's worse. That's it's not as good as you can imagine. What can I even get? Yep. It was a sorcery. That's good to know. I definitely thought it was uh, an instant because it's a combat trick, right? Come on. Apparently I was wrong. This card's unbeatable. Like, yeah, we're just done here. Oh, God. Some, like, I'm just like, I feel like I'm coming across decks like this, like, 75% of the time. <laughs> oh, my God, Mike, dude, I really appreciate you, buddy. That's hilarious. Dude, I actually just had Buffalo Blast, like, two weeks ago. There's a Cheesecake Factory that's, like, probably 20 minutes away, and we go pick up from there sometimes. Dude, I miss hanging out with you and Nehemiah and going to Cheesecake Factory. Those those days were good times, man. Man, dude, that's awesome. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> oh, Dan, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for hanging out. Oh, man. Buffalo Blasts. Everyone gives Cheesecake Factory a hard time, but I'm, I'm going to be honest. It's kind of a guilty pleasure. I love a good Cheesecake Factory. Let's, what are we cutting here? I don't even know. Cut cram session, I guess. It's just gaining some life. It doesn't have any synergies. Maybe Day of Judgment's just better. I mean, I figured like gaining four life draw draw uh, a specific card that you might need is is probably better, but what do I know? Clearly not much. 
I just had the thought, what was the name of the Cheesecake Factory? And that would be a sign it's time to go to bed. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, we're not going to use this yet. I don't think they're, I don't think their deck is scary early. I think it's very scary late, though. Cheesecake Factory Cheesecake is pretty banging. I mean, the variety alone is is pretty significant. They put it on DoorDash and I went crazy. <laughs> I think the biggest problem with Cheesecake Factory is the price, but like, like I rarely get bad food. I'm never like, oh man, they cooked this wrong or they didn't do this right. Like it's always good. So I'm like, oh, all right, fine. Like I'll definitely pay a little more for like quality and consistency. Okay, so we're gonna kill this thing because it's very good, right? Problem with the Cheesecake Factory is the... Oh, it's 100% the calories. A hundred percent. Wow, they just like literally rare drafted everything. Spirits get plus one, plus one and trample. Whenever a non-token creature... It's a spirit. I mean, I'm just going to take that, right? And then we're going to go land. And then we're going to go... <clears throat> Probably kill this guy, right? Because this is just way more versatile. That felt like a good turn. They got three lands and two two relevant cards. The decor in the Cheesecake Factory is wild. Like you you look around and you're like, I have no idea why it looks like this. <laughs> Shanala, why? Uh, create one on black, draw a card, exile a graveyard. No, I guess we're just playing this because I really just want to get in there. <coughs> I mean... Yeah, let's just draw a card. Also, this is like the best possible time to crack letter of acceptance when we have like no cards in hand and six mana. When you're here, you're trespassing. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, all right. So you got one removal spell and then you killed me with the other one. Got it. Got it. Got it. Well, let's crack first. Okay. All right, well, they have a lot of removal, and I guess you could do that when you play all five colors. So, you know. One, two, three, four, still five mana. This is a sorcery. Still one damage? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <coughs> oh, that's, that's interesting. Hmm. If you play this, they just kill it, but then it also leaves them at four, so... I guess that's fine. Do the diners have to wear PPE and go... <laughs> yeah, because you don't want to get tetanus. Yep, figured you'd do that. We draw a card. Oh, good, another mythic. That was, like, hilarious. Oh, boy. When it dies, you gain four. Oh, man. Does this fly? Of course it does. <clears throat> yeah, might as well get in there. I'll give you four at the cost of uh, putting counters on my flyer. Was this two, four? deal I 
Bleach Fanatic. You got it. Big fat dum dum. Okay, so you're dead. Yeah, okay, he's like, let me see if he knows how to use the ability. He did. He knew. I kind of like go, go blank, to be honest, because they have a good amount of... Uh... A good amount of things that let them draw cards. <clears throat> Um, I mean, it's pretty easy to go five colors and you draw, like, and you open, like, mono mythics and get past mono mythics and rares, and you're just like, oh, I guess I'll just keep taking all of these. Indestructible seems good. I'm gonna cut the guiding voice. I don't think it's that great here. Okay, let's see. <coughs> I mean, all your cards are mythics or rares with single pips in their mana cost. Like, you know, what are you going to do? Oh, uh, yeah, we'll keep this. Maybe they just played a bunch of dudes and we get to Day of Judgment then before. I mean, we have to draw Day of Judgment. I think the four drop is just better. I mean, what are we going to do? Like two extra points of damage? Okay, now we're talking. <clears throat> it does have a very Dragons of Tarkir feel, I agree. Um, I also feel like their mana is pretty bad right now. Like, three forests and a mountain with no cultivates or anything is not the best that you want right now. I think we're just killing this and attacking. <clears throat> I guess we could despark, right? And still play Lorehold Mage? No, we don't have the white for it. We don't want another creature, then it deals two damage to that creature. <clears throat> well, we have lots of choices here, really. That's the. Whenever one or more cards leave your graveyard, it deals one damage to each opponent. Okay. I mean, I'm tempted to just kill this and deal six. No, I'm just going to add to our board. <clears throat> oh, but he still gets a forest, though. They could get experimental... I don't know what the card's called. The card that gets you a basic land. When you're playing five colors, and you only have two of your colors and four forests. It's... I always want to click on things in the background, like Hearthstone, and nothing ever interacts, and I'm just like... Wizard, you've learned nothing. <clears throat> so, okay, hold on. It deals put one more counter, and then it deals two. So I can definitely do this to this guy. All right, nice. I mean, I feel like they're just dead. The pets on the side do do stuff, yeah. I said do do. I'm actually surprised we won this game. <laughs> I feel like I feel like the five color the five color decks mana base was uh was its biggest. Okay, <laughs> was not expecting to win this match. Finish him, cheesecake him. Is that a thing? Oh, what up, Belange Joe? Do I want? Oh no. 
I always click on decks. Because <clears throat> I'm like, let me change my deck. I'll click on decks. That's clearly intuitive. Hmm. Man, guiding. The, I wish the card was. I wish it was an instant. Like, it just seems not as good. <clears throat> My friend described this set as a strict save in school of sorcerers that could have been instance. That's actually funny. That's actually funny. Good for them. Good for them for being funny. Oh look, it's a sorcery that should have been an instant. I don't know, is putting a 1-1 counter on a creature too good at instant speed? Maybe. <clears throat> God, how many beans are we gonna look at? Discard to draw, so he loots. Okay, for, four, for five and a tap, reveal cards from the time we learn to reveal a non-legendary non-land with mana value three or less. You may cast it without paying So you get a free three drop for five mana. Sure, that's that's okay. Yeah, for sure. Like I'm definitely gonna like I'm definitely gonna lean towards the five color deck myself as well, so I can't really fault them for it. Okay, a little crammy boy. <clears throat> okay, I think we are. I think we're just gonna main deck. I know it sounds silly now, but I think we're just gonna main deck. Uh... They have judgment. I probably should have just done that to begin with. I kind of want a second forest. Oh, I guess I could have played Spiteful Squad here. I'm stupid. But I also don't know if I wanted to just run that out there either, so. Uh... All right. Discard two mountains to draw three. Good grief. Andy, why don't you get some food, buddy? It's also 1.45 in the morning, so, you know. Oh boy, we're doing, we're doing well here. I think they're like, would you like to cast D-Spark? And I'm like, mm, no, no. <laughs> And he just ordered some food. Oh my God, you should definitely go to Cheesecake Factory and then tell me all about it afterwards. Uh, pass no mocks. I think we're just I think we're just dead. This definitely feels like a good day of judgment matchup though. I'm drinking water to fill my dad belly. <laughs> Where's the egg salad sandwiches, buddy?
Yeah, no attacks. <clears throat> There's a burger restaurant in Tokyo called Dad Bod. Uh, you're a wolf, but you look like a wolf spirit. You're a spirit. You're not. You're not. Okay. It's also a target for a D spark, which is nice. So in response to them activating the the Tommy Boy. <clears throat> We're going to get rid of the Quintorius Field Historian. Oh, wait. It's a, it's a cost, isn't it? Okie dokie. Well, that's worse. I, I mean, like, realistically, there's no, there's no time to do it that we could have avoided that. Yep. Good times. <laughs> Cheesecake Factory slug. The thing I love about filling up on bread at restaurants is that I just get leftovers and I get to take my food home and be like, cool, I got a second meal. <clears throat> what does he do? You made this kind of return to ding to your hand. Do, 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 do. So you're at six and you start at six. You're tapped out, though, so I can easily double block here. Okay. <clears throat> Unless you got, like, an onboard trick that I don't see, but I don't think you do. Come on, something good. Well... gonna be a five drop that's worse than a five drop <clears throat> all right so they only have a planeswalker uh, boy we're gonna go to the next game again guiding voice is just worse than day of judgment we're just gonna start at main deck See, next time we can play something for three, do we play Inkling Summoning or do we just get another white source? I think we're going to go with Summoning. Or we can go with Pest Summoning. Which Summoning do we want? Let's go with Inkling. Oh, look at that. Rewarded. <laughs> sure. Deal. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. It's pretty good, actually. I think we're just going to play Flyer here. The haste is nice. Just get to exile your own card that turn and get a 3 3. This card seems good. I've under I underestimated this card. They're not going to exile it. Oh, 
Buffalo with the bits, man. Thank you very much, dude. Really appreciate it, buddy. <clears throat> One floaty buck. Nice. Oh, boy. Okay, but you've already exiled your card, so that's fine. You don't fly. So they didn't cast... Oh, okay, they're just dead. I'm like, they didn't cast it, but they also just played a guy? Weird. <clears throat> Why would they exile it and then play a guy? I don't understand. I guess I'm a dumb dumb. Yeah, sure. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we can play this. And then we cannot get through <laughs> following that. Whenever one or more cards leave your graveyard, scry one, sure. You have one red up, so I'm just taking two here. <clears throat> wow, having one black here is really problematic. We're going to draw a card and try to hit a land. Specifically a swamp, so that was not as helpful as you might have thought it was. I don't feel like attacking and dealing two is worth it when we're on the back foot here. You got it. No blocks. Ooh, that's a good one. As soon as we get a second black source. They just take it. Fascinating. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass here. <clears throat> I feel like Professor's Warning is gonna help us out here. So if we expel this guy. Oh, okay, here we're gonna yeah, this is gonna this is gonna be alright. We're gonna put the counter on here. They're gonna respond by trying to kill it. Oh, they didn't even, they didn't even, they didn't even use, oh, it's a sorcery. Oh, wow, that's really helpful. That's good to know. Hmm. Again, a card that's a sorcery that could have been an instant, maybe. I think all the lessons are sorceries. If I'm not mistaken. Sure. 
Keeping Embros alive seems good. One, two, three. Totally unimpressive. You got it. Oh, that's nice, though. Hmm. Okay. Well, we are 2 0 right now. <laughs> it's not bad. They're like, oh, you can play a flyer that can block all my creatures? That'll do, pig. That'll do. Okay, what did we say we were gonna do? Take out the guiding voice, put in the day, done. Oh my god, John Medina himself. Guys, do you know John Medina from the Untapped podcast? He's probably the biggest celebrity you can get in the magic world. John, I love you, buddy. Thank you for the raid, my dude. Really appreciate it. <laughs> I will keep this seven. And the question is, how long do we keep it before we, uh, do we just skip playing guys then Day of Judgment and drop a bunch of dudes? That could be good. What's up, everybody? Welcome. Welcome from John Medina's stream. So the problem is if they play anything like a 2-3, this card's just worse, right? I'm just going to pass here. Yeah, right? Like, I don't want to trade my 2-2 lifelinger for their generic 2-2. We do have to draw another... We do have to draw another, uh... Another, another planes, which has been an issue. Okay, you know what? Okie dokie. Well, we're going to play that guy, and we're going to draw a card. Ooh, that's what, that's, what, that's what Papa likes. That's what... I hope they play like a five drop, or like a two drop, a two drop, and a one drop. Just empty your hand. Just let them, let them, let them spill out. This is what Father enjoys. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't play a spell. Well, I asked you nicely, and then you did it anyway. That's just kind of rude. We could save our dude. It's kind of unexciting, right? They both have trample, so I really feel like it's not even worth, uh, it's almost not even worth blocking. Maybe save a point here. They have a counter spell? Wow. And this is how we go 2 1, guys. In case you wanted to know the two ones. Take. 
Taking six damage because they had a really random uncommon counter spell. And now they're going to play around Day of Judgment, which is really unfortunate. That's what we're not for. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have six mana. We can play Spiteful Squad and Leech Fanatic. Yeah. This is what Father likened. <laughs> One father doesn't like Buck. Okie dokie. Day of Judgment number two. Man, I should have just waited. Yeah, it's looking worse. We block here, we take one, two, three, four, five, six, and we are dead. I'm gonna concede. No, don't like that. I'm bringing the go, the go blank again. Keep this hand. Deal. Um. Yeah, let's play a guy before we humiliate. That card seems good. Would have fought whatever we played. Oh, I like that. with the cultivates people know these cards are rare right no blockums no blockum sockum robots Uh, the life link. Decisive denial. Oh, let's get rid of that. And then I don't care about anything else in your hand. I like it. So you have two just two just mediocre creatures. I kind of want to draw a card, <laughs> but I also think just getting Spiteful Squad down is probably fine. Three colors again. Everybody loves them three color decks. Now we have two Witherbloom Pride Pledge Mages, which is, seems like a lot. We can also wipe the board and then start playing them, which might be better, but I don't really see a reason to give up the... Uh, the overlay isn't working? What does that even mean? What are you saying right now? What's, what, what's he saying right now? We can also cast a day to give this guy flying and then attack with it, huh? Sure. 
Yum, yum, eat him up. Hello, Governor the Overlay, huh? The thing where you can hover over cards. Do you have another? No, this can't counter creatures. Sure, boy. Sure, buddy. Keep smacking. <laughs> what does that mean? You mean with my creatures? One, two, three. So we need two more lands to like both of these on the same turn, but. It's a good turn. Would love some combat tricks here. Okay, you're being very rude. Interesting. That doesn't do anything. And one combat trick we can give lifelink, we can gain a life. They could block with 3322, which is not great. Yeah, this is a fine trade. Now we're just going to slam another one of these guys because the 3 4 was the biggest, like, the, it was the hardest thing for them to double block. So now that we have two of them and they got rid of their 3 4. It's pretty good. Don't kill your creatures yet. There's still time. Oh, get rid of a blocker to do this, huh? Fascinating. Like Wither like Wither Wither Bloom Pride Mage feels a lot like the Elvish Rider in the last set, which is just like I mean it's it's a big dumb five five. But a lot of times like that's really good. Especially if you have like one trick. Hmm. Okie dokie. That's actually interesting, because now we have data judgment. That's an that's a sorcery. Okay. Well, let's do the deed. Yeah, we're definitely not trading at this point. Like, we can have, we can play Mage Hunter's Onslaught on their on this guy next turn. And then we're going to be like, lifelink, gain a life, gain a life, attack for a million. And if they block, they still take damage, so, you know. I'm like hoping they'll have another decisive denial. But they could also just tap out for something here, too. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, wow, that was really good. Trigger, 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 trigger. Snakeskin? Oh, it's our last card, Snakeskin.
Oh no! Oh, okay. We're not waiting for them. We're waiting. They're waiting for us. Got it. I'm a dumb dumb. It was also hiding under the effect, so I'm like, uh, okay, they're just done. Yeah, we're at 12. We gain an extra three. That was pretty good. Uh, I'm no expert, but it felt all right. Snap keep. Probably skipping the poet. I called him my buddy who's an expert. Best I can do is five life. Love it. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want to play nothing because they know we have day of judgment, so it's kind of like a tell. Ideally, they just go land big 4-4 four, four or something. We actually have nothing, which is kind of funny. <laughs> I'm actually going to crack this EOT. Oh, they didn't do anything. Um, all right. Oh, double block. The old double block arena. The old draw three. The classic. I think they're definitely playing around it. <laughs> they're just not putting anything on the board. Now they are. Uh, oh, I like that. It's very obvious we have it, but next time I'm gonna play it and play around the counter spell that they might have, so. If this doesn't work, then we lose and that's You got it. It's a three for one. If it if it resolves, four for one if they want to try to counter it. They don't. Unfortunately, Shale Dean of Radiance is gonna get exiled, but we are gonna draw a card off of it, I guess. And this is going to be an Ambrose for sure.
Uh, power for a greater, huh? Okay. Well. There it is. There you go. Well, that's not what we're looking for. But now we do get to play your boy. Oh, I should have played this first. Oh, that's so bad. Maybe not. I don't know. If they choose to fight, it's fine. It's just a two for two. But they're clearly keeping it up. Yeah, obviously. Where's the fucking plowshares in your in your in your blue green deck? Cool. Now we're gonna draw land. Yep, there it is. Phenomenal. bomb city is it a city or is it a small town if there's only one f-bomb yeah i mean it just makes sense like they obviously they have the counter spell for my removal they have the swords for my one creature and both of their creatures have uh three power instead of four and i drew the land that i was predicting so i, I don't know like literally four out of four <laughs> so yep cool So we play this guy. Mm -hmm. and this is ward three, two. So I'm one mana shy of being able to, to deal with that guy. It's like an igloo on a desolate plot of land. The poetry. Do you think there's another day of judgment in my in my deck that I can get? Nope, just another land. I feel like I swear to god I've lost more matches to people just out card drawing me than than anything else and, and it's kind of weird, but thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. 2 ones not bad, but the prize payout and economic system on Magic Arena is absolutely terrible. He probably does have another sword. You're not wrong. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.